from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. If, like Old Mate, you've been following the scandal that's engulfing Nissan, you know that things are pretty rough in there right now. Last year, the chairman was arrested. Well, now things have even gotten worse. It's breaking news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, Nissan CEO resigns after admitting during an internal investigation he was improperly overpaid. From Backyard Tech, this is breaking news. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is breaking news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Tuesday morning. This one's just shown up on Twitter and I thought I'd better have a bit of a sticky beak at this. Um, this the, look, Nissan's in a world of pain at the moment and this doesn't help their cause. This is from CNBC. Scandal at Nissan deepens after CEO Sakawa resigns after admitting he was improperly overpaid. Nissan Motor CEO Hirototo, Hiro, Hiroto, Hiroto, sorry, I'm terrible with Japanese names, uh, Sakawa, is stepping down after an internal investigation revealed falsified documents that boosted his compensation in 2013. The change increases his compensation by about 96.5 million yen at the time, or roughly 900,000 US dollars based on current foreign exchange rates. Nissan Motor CEO Hirotodo Sakawa is stepping down after an internal investigation revealed falsified documents that boosted his compensation in 2013 by 900,000 US dollars, further deepening a scandal that erupted with the arrest of former chairman Carlos Goz Gosen last year. Quote, Hirotoda Sakawa has indicated recently his willingness to resign, close quote. Nissan said in a press release on Monday, quote, after discussion, the board asked him to resign as, re as representative executive officer and CEO of the company, effective September 16, and he accepted, close quote. Sakawa will be temporarily replaced by Chief Operating Officer Yasuhiro Yam Yamuchi, the company said. I'm terrible with Japanese names, I'm sorry. Nissan expects to announce a successor for Sakawa by October. Gosen, who awaits trial in Japan, has denied the charges against him. Volatile period. Sakawa, who admitted to overpayments last week, told a news conference in Tokyo that he wanted to solve the company's issues before stepping down and he apologised for not being able to do so, according to Reuters. He also said he would return the improper compensation. Well, there's a first, the CEO actually returned, oh, that's the Japanese in it though. But when you think about it, CEOs try to avoid returning any compensation. The banks, ring a bell? <laughs> Sakawa's admission of overpayment after a, after a year long investigation adds to a volatile period for Japan's second largest automaker, following Goshen's initial arrest in November. Quote, This comes at a very difficult time, close quote, auto trader senior analyst Michelle Krebs said Monday. Quote, They've got a lot of work to do so, to do, and without strong leadership, that becomes even more challenging, close quote. Sakawa, so was appointed CEO after a 40-year career at Nissan in April 2017, after serving as co-CEO with Gosen from November 2016. Concealed payments. Nissan said its internal investigation originally launched to look into Gosen and board director Greg Kelly said Sakawa's problem started when he complained about his pay in 2013. While his pay wasn't adjusted, executives recalculated the, uh, quote, the amount of compensation receivable from Sakawa's share appreciation rights that had already been exercised for a fixed amount, and falsified documents to give the appearance that the share appreciation rights in question had in fact been exercised one week after the actual exercise date, close quote, according to a five-page summary of the report released Monday. 
The change boosted his compensation by, by about 96.5 million yen at the time, or roughly 900,000 US dollars, based on current foreign exchange rates. 327 million dollars US. Overall, Nissan believes that Gozen and Kelly concealed more than 327 million US dollars in payments to themselves and other executives, 187 million US dollars in non-disclosed compensation and 140 million dollars in improper expenditures. Quote, this is a substantial amount and Nissan fully intends to pursue all appropriate legal measures available, including seeking damages, close quote, the company said. Nissan does not plan to punish or hold others who benefited from Kelly and Gosen's alleged misconduct responsible for the overpayments. The company said there is, quote, no reason to believe that any of the individuals were complicit in the misconduct, close quote. Nissan is asking those who benefited from such overpayments to repay the overpaid amounts, regardless of their lack of awareness of the misconduct, close on, quote, unquote. The total, according to Nissan, includes 84.8 million US dollars in pay as well as an additional 21.2 million dollars US in quote unquote shared appreciation rights for Gozen. Nissan also said the report confirms Gozen's alleged use of the company's assets for personal use, including 27 million US dollars for properties in Beirut as and Rio de Janeiro. 750,000 US dollars to Gozen's sister as part of a fictitious consulting contract, quote unquote, and improper use of corporate jets and expenses for family members. I think it's fair enough to say he may have been acting as a typical chairman, if you ask, old mate. What's next? Sakawa's resignation, quote unquote, doesn't come as a surprise. <coughs> Excuse me, according to Krebs. However, in review, it renews questions about the future of the company and its global alliance with French automaker Renault and Japanese automaker Mitsubishi. Gosen, who was the architect of the alliance uh, and served as its chairman, quote, the biggest questions are what does the company do from here and what happens to the alliance, close quote, she said, quote, if you look back from the outside, it looked like the alliance was working well, and when Gosen was arrested, and then Gosen was the Gosen arrest happened, and things were going, uh, things going inside became evident to the outside world. Gosen's arrest unearthed growing tensions between Renault and Nissan over the structure of the partnership specifically over voting rights. The French automaker is the largest shareholder of Nissan and has voting rights. Nissan is the second largest shareholder in Renault with no votes. Nissan Mac Renault have been sort of in bed with each other for as long as I can actually remember. The alliance between Renault, Nissan and Mitsubishi has been built up over the last two decades and touted as one of the most successful in automotive history. Nissan and the French government each own 15% of Renault. In turn, the French auto holds 43% stake in Nissan. So things are just going from bad to worse for Nissan. I'm not, I'm not going to be biased against Toyota here either. Toyota's got major trouble as well. We can't shy away from that. They've cheated. But this doesn't help the alliance between Nissan and Renault, let alone Mitsubishi. So trouble at Nissan is getting worse and worse. There we are. Breaking news here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Nissan's CEO steps down after improperly being paid. Stick around. More coming up. Have a good one all. Cheers.